I am here at a manufacturing company in Northwest Georgia. Uh, the time is 6.20 a.m. Uh, it's a Thursday. They uh, run 24 hours a day. We have a two-day, three-shift um, employee appreciation that starts later today. And um, we've got two events today for first and second shift. And then we've got a uh, third shift uh, Friday morning. We'll be um, coming in at 1 a.m. for setup for that. They've got a dunking booth and they've got uh, food, uh, food trucks that are coming in. Um, they've got several, um, several other things that are going on. They're giving away a bunch of uh, gift certificates. Uh, they're giving a gift certificate to every employee and then also uh, I will be drawing and giving away uh, gift certificates as well. I uh, got a short like 10 minute speech by the uh, plant manager uh, just to thank the employees for their hard work this past year. The last three years that we have done this event, uh, this entire bay area has been cleared out. Uh, they weren't able to do that this year. I'm going to be down at the far end of this walkway. Uh, we're plugged in here to the maintenance uh, facility and then everything goes, power cord goes that way behind all these uh, storage boxes. Ice cream freezer is plugged in there which is where I was as of yesterday that's where they wanted me to plug in. Uh, but as of today, I'm here and now have a drop cord running. I'll be set up here, have a couple speakers aimed this way, and then my uh, truck. Uh, I will have one speaker out here. The food trucks are setting up, and um, uh, that's where they will be. Are you lovely and gracious? Ooh, the lovely and gracious Poison Ivy! Wow! <laughs> Obviously a crowd favorite. What is your superhero name? Black Widow. Black Widow! Hey, we got a winner. So we're finished with the first, uh, the first group. Uh, had 600 people in the first group. The recommendation that I always make is that if you're doing all three shifts, start with your off shift first because every time that you do an event, you get a little bit smoother. You get your timing down a little bit better. Um, they wanted to go ahead and, and do first shift first, followed by second shift, and then third shift in the morning. Um, that's not normally the way I recommend doing it, just because normally first shift has the biggest group of people. We had 600 people here today. Uh, the other two shifts will probably be about 800 total, but like 400 and 400. Everything was fine. The only thing that I changed, I put one of the K-12s outside because we have to throw so far to get to the food trucks that uh, it ended up uh, K-10 was uh, having to push a little hard. So I changed out and put a, uh, excuse me, long day. Um, I shipped, uh, shifted and put a K-10 inside and put the K-12 outside. Um, next uh, second shift, celebration starts in one hour and then uh, break down, go home, get some sleep and be back here at 1 a.m. Uh, for a 3 to 5.45 uh, shift in the morning. Food trucks went really well. Only difficulty was there, were, there was one or two trucks that everybody really wanted to try. And uh, so they were stacked up. And um, anyway, once people realized that they could go to some of the other trucks, then uh, the crowd kind of resolved itself. Long days, but 
I love what I do. So it, it really makes it a lot easier to work a lot of hours when you love what you do. So with that note, we'll be back soon. Thanks. Let's see, it's uh, 2200, almost 2200 hours. I expected to be done by 8.20 to 8.30. Guess who left their parking light on on the DJ van? And guess who had a dead battery? That would be me. So I've got to be back here in about three hours by the time I'd make it home and uh, come back. I wouldn't get hardly any sleep. So I'll just crash here in the van um, and uh, be ready to go in three hours. Uh, or start setting up again in three hours. Hopefully it'll be uh, be a good lesson for me and hopefully a uh, lesson for you. Make sure you turn your headlights off and uh, your running lights too. So DJ Elite signing off. Catch a couple hours and we'll be back with you real soon. It is uh, Friday morning 7 a.m. I just finished up with our third shift um, event. Uh, the third of three got everything packed up there we'll get it loaded into the van we had about 1500 people here and um three uh three shifts um a couple of long days so anyway uh i will be loaded up and out of here very soon Get a quick after action report um things that went well i think um selection was pretty good. Areas where we could have improved. Um, I think one of the things that could have been done differently that would have gone a little bit better was to have um, to have done their largest um, their largest event uh, last or at least second. Um, one of the things that was very popular uh, with the employees was uh, they gave a uh, drawing opportunity uh, for you to put a pie in a manager's face. Of course, that went over very well. They raised a lot of money for uh, Relay for Life, uh, which is the charity, one of the charities they support here. And so, anyway, that went very well. Um, they also did a jelly bean. Uh, you know, guess how many jelly beans or Skittles or whatever were in a jar. Um, again, another fundraiser for Relay for Life. And so. Like I say, both of those fundraisers went well. I think the client face was a lot more popular. And uh, they also had a dunking booth uh, outside with some of the managers to do that. Having a wireless microphone worked really well. Of course, I did all of the uh, announcements for the giveaways. I pulled all the raffle tickets. Um, every employee got a raffle ticket. Um, they gave away a bunch of gift certificates, things like that. And that went very well. That was very popular. They, they interviewed the employees to find out if they wanted uh, fewer big gifts, uh, fewer big prizes, or more small prizes. And uh, they uh, overwhelmingly chose to have more small prizes. Uh, so every employee got a $30 gift card, and then, um, like I said, they gave away a bunch of uh, $50 and some $100 gift cards. And uh, so that gave people some things to win. So uh, they also had the dunking booth, which was no charge, the food trucks. I think overall it was a very successful event, and um, I look forward to doing it again. I'm going to finish loading up, and then I'm going to get the heck out of here go home and get some sleep.
All right, and that's how we pack it up. Pack it up, pack it up, pack it up. Again, thank you for watching. I hope that uh, you've learned a few things. Maybe you can give me some pointers. Maybe you make uh, your life a little bit simpler. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. SeriousDiversions.com. Funny name, Serious Entertainment. Have a great week.